I get clients from all walks of life and many of them are now coming and saying, what the heck? How do you maintain your dignity while you're dating? It's tough, right? And I hate to tell you, but most therapists, we deal with the issues after they happen. It's very hard for us to kind of look at something and say, okay, do this and this and this. We're all figuring out this modern world. And whether you're new to dating because you're just, you know, starting that stage in your life, or maybe you've been divorced or you lost a partner and you never expected to be dating again. It doesn't matter which category you're in on one hand because dating in the modern world is a lot different. The one thing I'm gonna tell you is that I know profiles are written by people who are telling the truth and people who are not telling the truth, but you're responsible for maintaining your integrity and dignity. I just got some reminders to kind of validate you after, especially if you have a, a couple of bad dates or you're just asking yourself, was I in the wrong or what happened? That comes up many times when you're unsure about what you're doing. And let's face it, dating today, there's a lot of times that you're not going to be sure. People are not as good at communicating face-to-face. -face. There's more text. There's more instant messaging. There's more Facebook posts and responding and Instagram and all of the social media, even though it's a wonderful way to connect, it also can be con really confusing when you're trying to communicate specific areas of concern for you. So uh, let's just go through this list of things that I want you to remember so you maintain your dignity while dating. The first of these, it's okay to verbalize your disappointment and your disagreement with your partner. In fact, you should. You don't wanna be somebody's puppet or just go along passively. This is how bad things happen in relationships, especially when they're newly dating. What I want you to do is remember to be fearless when it comes to leaving a relationship that's not working. Most of the problems I see in my office are due to people staying too long in a relationship that was never going to work. Next, you don't have to be polite or just stand by passively when someone insults you or disrespects you. In fact, it's really important that you don't stand there and try to be polite or come back to them. Get out of there. If they're doing that when you're dating, then they're going to do that, continue to do that into the relationship. And it would be terrible if you stayed with this person and formed some long lasting type relationship and subjected yourself to this misery day after day. It's okay to not wait around. If you meet someone, even if it seems like it was out of this world and you guys talked all night, which I get a lot of clients that tell me that, you know what? You have your viewpoint, they have theirs and their, their viewpoint is in their actions. Don't make your life about waiting for that person to call back or to get with you. A no response means simply that whatever else they prioritized, it took precedence to you. Learn to accept that. In fact, learning to accept that you have a point of view in dating and your partner or the new date has one is very important. Do not blur those lines. In fact, what makes people successful daters is they're very well aware of their boundary as well as the person they're dating. And so they don't blur those lines. They see very clearly the differences as well as areas you align on. And that's going to be really important going forward. Um, you should get angry if you're used and you should use that anger to walk away. If someone abuses you in any way, assaults you, insults you, harasses you, wants you to move too fast or anything, tries to introduce something that you're very uncomfortable with, that goes counter to everything you value, you should stand up for yourself. And that is a prime time. They need to see that and you need to do it on your part. And learn this motto, if nothing else, delete, move on, 
hold your head high. Every person you date is a potential teacher for you about something you need to learn. Once you get that lesson, whether it's in a no-show, a disappearing act, some stupid excuse, or anything else, learn the lesson and get out. There are many people who will want to date you, and you have to continue to tell yourself that. The question's going to be, are they at your standard that you've set, and you should have a standard, and can they be someone you can work with and align your life with to share it and create something really great? Those are things that only you can answer. Those are things you need to know to keep your dignity intact and survive modern dating.